Hello. Welcome to Cuphead. Now, you see, when I'm browsing YouTube, a lot of the time I'll see videos about some game. Except, before I watch the video, I'll think, does this game look cool? If it looks cool, I won't watch any videos and I'll wait to play the game myself. That's what I've done with Cuphead. Man, this song's amazing. But yeah, I have seen nothing about Cuphead. Or, well, pretty much nothing. I haven't seen any actual levels or bosses or anything. I just know it's supposed to be insanely difficult. So I've kept off from watching any videos or anything about this game for so long, just so I could play it myself. So I'm very excited for this, and I hope you guys enjoy this series. Let's go. Alright, well, let's start. Let's see this. Oh man, I'm excited, because this game's supposed to be amazing, and I've... I've... Uh, like, avoid watching videos of it for so long just to play it. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Okay. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the Crab's Table. Hot dog, explained King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. I assume King Dice is the guy with the dice head. Nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? That's a terrible deal. Cuphead blinded by easy riches. Oh, great. Uh, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead. No, cried Mugman. So Cuphead's stupid and Mugman actually has a brain. Got it. Free understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes left the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. That there must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is the devil snicker pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me and I might pardon you two mugs. Okay. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. Okay. Interesting. So... Cuphead had a gambling issue. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourself into. Uh, how do I go next? What's next? Z still? I don't know. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil. But if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so that... They won't hang you out to dry. It'll give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Oh, that's normal, his head just popping off. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. Inkwell, sir. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Okay. Tutorial, here we go. Alright, let's figure this out. Do I leave now? Yeah. Alright, let's go and play. This music's awesome. Let's go, I guess. Where are you? Hello, sir. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. Now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Oh, sick. Thank you. Well, there's a shop right here, so... Pork Rhymes Emporium. Oh, that, that's a voice. <laughs> Chaser, long range with below average damage, no aiming required. Heart, extra hit point. You get an extra heart, adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. I still feel like that might be worth it, especially since I've never played this. Spread, short range with great damage if you can keep close to the target, so it's like a shotgun. I think it looks like it. Smoke bomb, invisible dash. You'll not take damage during a dash, a great defensive maneuver. That also sounds good. Roundabout, great coverage with average damage, aim backwards for maximum range. What? I don't... I don't understand that. I'm gonna get this, though. I th oh, sh pea sugar. Automatic parry. The first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump. Cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna get the heart thing, and then... Uh, you got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. That's... that's great. 
Uh, where would this be equipped? It's not a shot. No, this is... Oh, it's a charm, okay. So, did that equip it? Yeah, okay. Cool, alright, well now we have an extra heart. Um, what's this? Is this something? Yeah. Forest Follies, running gun, alright. Let's... Like... Okay, what am I doing? Oh, okay, well... Die. I'm gonna have to... Okay, yeah, I suck. <laughs> die. What are my controls again? I already forgot my controls. I also forgot how to aim. Coin. Oh, I don't like this. Leave me alone. There's a mushroom. But yeah, I'm gonna be very bad at... Oh my god, I'm gonna be bad at this to start off. Kill that guy. There's a plant. What does the plant do? Oh, it shoots things at me. Kill that guy. Did I just jump? Yeah, there we go. I'm already at one health. Oh my god. Now, get out of here. The blueberry. Yeah, I can just kill him. Is he... Is he yeah. Oh, he's back. Wait, what? No, hey, die. Oh, I don't like this. I feel like I'm... This is... No! He jumped up. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know when I said I'm bad at platformers? I was not kidding. Okay, I'm just gonna go here. Go. Okay. Get the plant. Get this guy. There's a coin. Give me that. How do I get you? Come here. Okay. Go. I need to remember that L is like standstill shooting, so I gotta utilize that. Oh god. No. Stop. Stop. Stop sending so many things at me. I'm not good at this. Ooh. Just avoid the blueberry. Just get on my way. What are you? How do I get that coin? How do I get that? I can't jump that high and there's... Oh my god. There's a freaking spike ball. Oh, is it parrying? Because... I, I parry that. Ow! Oh, okay, sick. Okay. Oh my god. These nuts are not fun. Ah, okay, well, at least I'm figuring out parrying. Okay, try hard time. The funny thing is, is, this is like the first level, isn't it? Oh, dash, 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 forgot about dashing. I would've fallen there. Oh, I just accidentally parried that. Ah, the blueberry. Jump over that. These nuts are actually a huge freaking problem, and I hate them. I hate them so freaking much. Give me that coin. Just avoid the guys. Avoid everybody. I have one heart again. Let me out. There's a- who are you? You're the acorn maker. No, die. Cool. Alright. I don't know if that was the best idea. I almost died to a blueberry. Give me that. One heart gaming. Oh, I did it! Okay. Hmm. I still haven't used any of my super shots, I just realized. <laughs> oh my god. Great? Oh, that's gonna be low. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I got all the coins. Got two skill levels. The B- Okay, I was expecting lower. I'll take a B. I was expecting lower. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at this. How bad? This, some this is something. What's this? The root pack in Botanic Panic. Oh, is this a boss? Simple or regular? Nah, we ain't doing simple. Simple's for babies, even though I suck. Oh, hello. Who are, how are you? Die, please. Oh, okay. Alright, first boss, let's do this. He's shooting dirt and worms at us. So far, pretty easy. Oh, he's getting fast. Oh, he's getting fast. Okay. Ow. Wait, is he dead? Do I just win? What happened? Oh, no, oh, that's some. Oh, hello. Alright, let me pause you right there. So, as the professional YouTuber I am, I managed to mute my mic and then not realize it was muted until I had done a bit more of the game. Not too much. I beat, it, I beat the root pack. I beat Ruby and Croak, I think their name is, and I started the grind of another running gun level. Man, I suck at running gun levels. But, yeah, it sucks. I'm still not going to just remove this part. I'm going to explain what happens, but from now on, I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but 
here we go. This, this is what happened. So, I easily beat the onion stage of the root pack, wasn't hard, and then we moved on to the carrot. I had some problems shooting the flying carrots that he spawned, and ended up dying to his like weird psychic laser attack thingy. But after another attempt, I beat him, and we moved, and I moved on to Ribby and Croak. In Ribby and Croak, um, it again wasn't too complicated to figure out what was going. On. It wasn't too hard to figure out what was going on. Um, I beat their first stage pretty easily. I think actually first try, and then we moved on to the second stage, which I also think I might have also beat first try, maybe second. And then the third stage is where I had a lot of problem. His like his like uh, gambling machine stage. Yeah, I had a lot of problems with that one. Whenever it rolled tiger, I was just dead. The tiger stage is like where these orange platforms will come out that have spikes on them, so you can't just like uh, run it. You can't touch them unless you jump on top of them. But on the top of them, there's a hole that shoots out orange balls that you can't touch either. So you just have to jump through the gap between the orange ball and the platform at the right time, and I always died at that point. But I got the run where we ended up, where I ended up getting lucky enough to not get Tiger, and I beat him, which was very nice. I then moved on to a running gun level called Treetop Trouble, and if you're wondering, why did I say, man, I'm bad at running gun levels? Well, let me put this into perspective. This recording is an hour and six minutes long. It took me 26 minutes of recording to beat everything up till this running gun. The rest is all this running gun, and I didn't even beat it in this recording. I had to take a break. So, yeah. Uh, my main problem was there was this one coin where you had to parry one specific bug that if you missed the parry, you had had to restart to get the coin. I don't know any other way. Maybe you don't have to restart, but that's the only way I knew how to do it. So I went and had to get that one over and over again. And then there was this one parkour section I died at a couple times, and then you'd reach the boss. The boss was so annoying, it's like, you're, you're on a f multiple floating platforms, but he can destroy the platforms to make you fall to your death, and it's so annoying, I died to him a lot. But in the end, I was able to take him down and beat the level. And it was at this point where my mic came back, so I will stop the commentary here. Okay, I beat him. I'm, I'm not trying that jump, I'm waiting for this guy to come back. Okay. Just oh my! Why was that so painful to do? Oh my god! Uh, please say I got all the coins. Oh, I got all the coins. Oh, okay, I never have to go back to bed again. B. I'll take a B. We have seven coins. Let's go buy something. Okay, I really want the shotgun shot, but it also might really come in handy to have like. Like the freaking this or something. I'm getting the shotgun. I'm getting both actually. Okay, wait, what do we got? Charge, hold attack to increase damage, no rapid fire, so precision is key. Okay. And coffee. Super meter con continuously fills in addition to what you earn. I feel like the super meter fills fast enough for right now, but that could come in handy later. You know, it's something down here. What's down here? Who are you? Uh. Be gone, spirits. Oh wait, you're real. I was about to hit you with the old parry move. That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, would you fellas mind moving on? The spook and the fish. Alright. What's this place? Mausoleum 1. Alright. Here comes a spooky bug. Help. Okay, well. Oh, ghosts. They're pink, so do I... Yeah, that's what the fish said. She said parry ghosts. Okay, I guess this is a good way to train my parries. Oh, he's small. Get him. He's a small old grandpa. Victory! Hey, that was easy. That was a nice break from all the pain I've been dealing with recently. What's this? Gosh, I don't know how to thank you boys for saving me. Who are you? Where are my manners? I didn't even introduce myself. I am known as the Legendary Chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. Oh. What did I get? <laughs> there are other mausoleums around Inquil Isle. I just wonder. Okay, so there's other ones of these, I guess. What did I get? Oh, well, I just destroyed the place. You unlocked a new super. Oh, sick. Wait. Uh, dear me, you mustn't forget that magical super arts have to be, yep, have to be equipped. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Super Art 1, Energy Beam. A devastating attack spills from your head horizontal only. 
Fun. All right, I'm gonna try that out. Ouch. Oh, what's this? The legendary chalice bid me carry a message to you. She needs your help afar off Isle of Mysterious Discovery. The boat awaits us. Depart? Yes, I guess. I know Miss Chalice is part of the DLC, so I don't want to accidentally start the DLC before I finish the main game. Like, I've made sure I don't do the DLC by accident first. Gosh, I don't know. I hope she's okay. Okay, jumping jelly beans. You boys made it. I have the most amazing news. And it has to do with this here cookie. Take a bite and see for yourselves. Okay. Oh. Well, she killed Mugman. It worked. It really worked. I'm alive again. But now I'm a ghost. You just killed Mugman? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Great. What's going on here? Everything's gone topsy-turvy. Follow me, boys. I can explain everything. For ages, I've been trying to find a way to escape the astral plane, but nothing worked until now. Boys, let me introduce you to Chef Saltbaker, the greatest chef in the lands. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, Miss Chouse, I see my cookies has worked. My cookie has worked wonders on you. Oh my stars! What's going on? Oh, she's back. Let's go. You suck. I'm a ghost again. Yeah, you deserve it. Oh my finicky thing, that cookie. The taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. Fret not, though, my concerned little cups. I've come with an amazing new recipe. One bite of this Wonder Tart and you'll have complete control over the Astral Plane. This Wonder Tart could bring Chalice back to life for good, no swamp in places or nothing. Indeed, just one problem. The rest of the play in requires exceptional ingredients held by the most fearsome of foes. Huh. Well if, the <laughs> well, if the Wonder Tart is what it takes to bring Chalice back to life, then by golly, we'll find those ingredients. Okay. I think this is the DLC, though. Down your garden, Shepherd Cups. Fetching those ingredients will be a test of wits and wills. But remember, like any good bake, heart and soul is the secret ingredient. Uh, okay. Uh, I just know. Okay. I th think this is the DLC. Actually, I'm gonna quickly just find out. Uh, give me a second. Okay, yeah, that is the DLC. I wanted to be sure. I'm not gonna do that yet. Uh, what's this? Flowers. Floral f Cagney Carnation and Floral Fury. Alright, let's do it. Another boss. Good day for Hello. It's on. Well, you're scary. Oh yeah, it is a shotgun. Alright. Die. What are you doing? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna avoid those. Oh, there's piranhas on the floor. Oh, this is... What is going on? There's so much ha- What? I didn't even notice he was doing an attack. What is happening? Oh god, that thing up top is shooting now. There's too much to pay attention to. What is he throwing now? Oh, go back down. Oh, it's coming down. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Fools who attempt to fight this will leave with allerg- aller Allergic rit- rit- Ritnitus? I- I don't- I can't speak. I like the shotgun, it's fun. Ow! Huh! That's not fair. Oh, I have to hit him in the head. What? I wasn't doing damage so well. Yes. Ooh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hey. Use it again. Oh, he's angry. Oh, what is going on? Oh, oh, God. Okay. Pay attention to the vines. Pay attention to the vines. Oh, he's shooting things. Pay attention to the vines. Pay attention to him shooting things. Get close and personal again. Super. We got this. We can win this. Okay. Oh no, that's fine. Mm, okay. How close? Oh, we're so close. We can do this. We can do this. I can do this. Maybe I should try the chaser bullet just so that I can focus on other things while I, while I, like focus on everything else without having to actually worry about shooting him. So now I should be able to just focus on everything else around me. Okay. Can you get? Can you? Okay. I found the problem with chaser. I can't decide which enemy it locks onto. I want you to lock onto the guys underneath, but it was locking onto the lock onto the guy up top, please. That's below. That's fine. Can I super? Oh, the super just protects me. It's like a shield. Okay. Oh, oh, you can crouch under that. Oh, thank God. Because I would have died if not. Okay. Well, give me us. I don't think Chaser's my thing. I'm sticking with the shotgun. Use it! Go! Oh, that's great. That must do so much damage. Please say that does a ton of damage. I want to kill this guy up top. 
my shotgun can't reach you, man. I need you to let me get close to you. <laughs> what do I do there? Okay. Let's go. Get him. We don't have the guy up top to worry about this time. We got this. Flop to chaser. That I don't have to worry about aiming. Oh, I'm... Okay, I'm alive. Let's just use... Oh, wait, no, that's the shield thing. I forgot. That's useless, then. Never mind, I hit him with it. I wasn't paying attention to the vines. How close? Oh! <laughs> Great. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> That's just amazing. Okay. Stay in the middle. The middle is the place to be. Oh my god. No, no, please. Just trick and kill. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, it started going bad at the end. But oh, yes. One minute twenty six. Oh, yeah. Come on. B minus. Okay, that's the worst grade I've ever done. But oh, I'll take it. Oh, my God. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that will do for the first episode of Cuphead. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. This game is so much fun so far, and I'm really excited to continue it. Um, don't worry, there shouldn't be another incident where I accidentally mute myself, because now I'm extremely paranoid about it happening, so I shouldn't let it happen again. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.